Hey guys, the 1.21 update for Java and console aspects is out now. This update adds full support for the remaining tricky trials features that weren't already added in the wolf update, and it also fixes the really annoying bugs that made bogged invisible. I'm sorry about that one. It feels like I just went through this because the wolf update came out less than two months ago and it already added a ton of features in 1.21 support, but since Mojang dropped Armored Paws so close to 1.21's Tricky Trials update, I am back again with even more features. And surprisingly, there are quite a few, even though it's only been two months since the last update. And let's go through them, starting with Java Aspects, and the first feature we're going to cover is the name of the update, the Double Cross update. Because single block cross textures no longer have an ugly side. That's the easy way to phrase it. But the more complicated way to phrase it is single block flowers are now double sided. Notice this side of the allium is very bright and this side has dark pixels. Normally in bedrock, one side of a flower looks the same from every direction. But now with Java aspects, a flower will change as you fly past it. The easiest flower to show this with is the lily of the valley, because if we walk around it, you'll notice that the flower part always stays on the left side. And this applies to all one block flowers, including new ones like the torch flower. It also does it for mushrooms and all saplings, including new ones like the cherry sapling. Notice that the stem part of the sapling is always on the left side, no matter how we look at it. It also applies for short grass and ferns. So there are no longer ugly sides for any of these blocks. Unfortunately, it's not possible to fix this for two block flowers or various other blocks like cobwebs. I literally tried every single cross model in the entire game. And unfortunately, these are all the ones that were possible. They were also contributed by Lionhead07, who is a new contributor, so thank you very much for the features. Another feature Lionhead contributed is sugarcane being wider. One thing that always seemed weird to me on Bedrock is that sugarcane is really thin, and now with Aspects, it is just as wide as it is on all the other editions. It's not mirrored because you can only pick wide or mirrored, which is why we picked mirrored for the flowers and wide for the sugarcane. Moving on, another feature from the same contributor is cave grass colors. In a lush cave in vanilla bedrock, for some reason, grass, ferns, and leaves all look very dead, which doesn't really make sense because it is a lush cave after all. So now, in Java aspects and in updated mode for console aspects, grass and foliage in lush caves looks really nice and alive. Dripstone caves have a similar chain where instead of being very cool colors, they are now warmer green to match the warmer existence of the dripstone caves biome. In 1.21, stone slabs were changed to have separate IDs for commands, which is nice and all, except Mojang accidentally screwed up the normal quartz slab. They gave it the same bottom texture as the smooth quartz slab. So now, this issue has been fixed in aspects, so you can differentiate between the quartz slab and the smooth quartz slab from the bottom. 1.21 is the first update in years to add more than one music disc at once, but the frustrating thing is, Minecraft Bedrock Edition plays every music disc at half volume. That no longer happens. Also, for some reason, Minecraft Bedrock considers music discs to be in the music slider instead of the jukebox slider, which is very unfortunate. It only affects music discs that were added after Pig Step, so that includes stuff like Other Side, Relic, and then all the 1.21 discs. But now, if we go into the Sound tab and turn down Jukebox slash Note Blocks, you can't hear it anymore. 1.21 on Java Edition had another pretty controversial sound change to Pistons, and the good news is they reverted it to just make the piston sound quieter and have a shorter attenuation distance, and that is now replicated in Aspects. When we're right next to a piston, it's still not even that loud, and if I walk farther than 8 blocks, you can't hear it at all. Console Aspects actually enforces the old piston sounds now, so even if they're updated, you'll still get the old sounds in Console Aspects, unless using updated textures. I can't really show this one since I'm playing on a computer, but if you're playing with a touchscreen device, the chat screen will now revert to its normal position. So if I say, hello there, it appears on the bottom of my screen, but it turns out on a mobile phone, that's right under the controls. And that's not a good thing. So 
For both console and Java aspects, the chat now moves back to its normal position on the top of the screen if you're using touch controls. The ominous trial spawners have ominous item spawning in 1.21, which, oh no, we've caused a war between the bogged and the snow golems. I did not intend for this. And they spawn these items, but on Bedrock Edition, the item spawning particles are stretched toward the item. On Java Edition, they're just nice squares. So now, in Java Aspects, those particles match Java Edition. And the final feature, of course, the bog is no longer invisible, but the good news is, when it shoots at you, it now actually uses the bow and arrow drawing animation, where it draws the arrows toward you instead of just holding its arms straight forward. That concludes our Java Aspects features, as usual, features that make sense in both Java and console aspects, and that's pretty much every feature in this video, to be honest, will be added to both packs, so just because this is the end of me using Java Aspects does not mean it's the end of Java Aspects features. This is a good time to mention that Java and console aspects are getting updated pack icons this update. Both of them are using the new title texture that appears in the custom tab, and I just think it looks a lot nicer. The console aspects fire is now also colored accurately. Now that we're back in console aspects with everything looking just a little bit brighter, let's start with some end-focused features. Eye of Ender particles have seen some great improvements in this update. First off, they're actually purple now when they break and die, instead of being white, which didn't really make any sense. And I can't show you now because we're on 1.21.0, but on 1.21.10, particle velocities have been fixed, which means that these particles actually zoom toward the center of the eye where it shattered. It looks really cool on 1.21.10, and you'll just have to see it when the update releases fully. Let's travel to the end of the next feature where we have to visit Jean the Ender Dragon and wait for her to perch, because there has been an amazing new animation feature contributed by Lionhead in this update. Look how smooth that Ender Dragon is. Those movements look amazing, because for some reason on Bedrock Edition, the Ender Dragon just looks really janky, and unfortunately not all of her animations are fixed, but the animation when sitting at the end portal absolutely is, and that's the one that you'll see the most when you're playing, so... I am very, very happy to finally get some improved Ender Dragon animations in Aspects. It's been a long time coming. We can grab the Elytra and see the next feature, which is smooth Elytra transitions. On Bedrock, when you crouch, the Elytra just kind of instantly changes to its open position. But now, like Java and Console Edition, it slowly opens and slowly closes when you crouch. It's also a little slower to open when you start flying. 1.21 is introducing the mace, which has some incredible enchantments like Wind Burst, but something that I always notice when using it on Bedrock Edition is that the particles aren't the right color. They're just way too light. So now, Aspects fixes the particle colors for the Wind Burst and other mace attacks, so they're actually darker than the blocks that they come from. Map animations have seen further improvements in this update because they now look super, super close to Java and Console Edition. The two-handed map animation hasn't changed, but the one-handed arms have just rotated a little bit to look a slight amount better, and I think that is a huge improvement. I can't really show the next one because I'm, again, on a computer, but vertical split-screen support has been added for using aspects on consoles, which means previously, if you used aspects on a console, when you held something like a shield, or a bow, it would be in the middle of your screen, or be completely off screen, or you wouldn't be able to see yourself punching. There were a ton of issues because of how vertical split screen makes your screen so much slimmer. But now, I have manually added fixes for all of these issues, and every animation looks great in first person mode. Except the hard coded ones, because I can't fix those. The final few features here, the drowning experience, a really fun name to call something when you're, you know, losing air underwater, has been updated to match console edition. There are no longer those empty HUD bubbles, and the sound that plays when each bubble pops has been removed. And finally, the new day counter now matches the coordinate counter, where it doesn't have a background and it just shows you the number and what it is. Java Aspects has changed it to match the F3 debug screen as well. And what is this? Something else. Okay. Wait, hang on. One of these maps was a little weird. It was this one. Why does it have... Hey guys, welcome back to another Aspects Showcase video. Today, we have a slightly shorter one because it's only a minor Aspects update this time. Hey guys, on this Christmas morning, as has somehow become tradition, I would like to give you some gifts. Hey guys, 
The biggest update in history for Java and console aspect is out now. Hey guys, stop whatever it is you're doing and go download the latest beta for the next Java or console aspects update in the description. Hey guys, I'm back and it's not with console or Java aspects. Hey guys, welcome back to another development log. It's all the same world?